The purpose of this video is to detail how to dummy train and collect semen from a breeding boar. Information on how to construct a semen collection pen and how to extend and store semen is presented in other videos, and links to these videos are provided in the video description below. Quickly, let's review the boar's reproductive anatomy and physiology, as we'll need to have a loose familiarization with this to collect the boar correctly. The boar produces the largest volume of semen and the most number of sperm of all domestic species, generally about 200 milliliters of semen and anywhere from 20 to 60 billion sperm cells. There is, however, large inherent variation in semen production and sperm number between individual boars, and the range of normal values may vary considerably according to the breed, age, season of collection, and the frequency at which the boar is collected. Generally speaking, we expect maternal breeds, such as Yorkshire and Landrace, to produce greater semen volume and sperm number than terminal breeds, such as Duroc. Similarly, older boars typically produce larger ejaculates than do younger boars. Heat stress will also reduce sperm quality during the summer and early autumn, and this is commonly referred to in the industry as seasonal infertility. And finally, sperm number and quality will decrease if collecting the boar three or more times in one week, and so we should ideally keep the boars on a regular schedule of collecting once or twice a week. The boar ejaculates in a series of three seminal fractions. The first, which is called the pre-sperm fraction, is colorless and functions to clean the urethra of all residual urine, dead sperm cells, and bacteria or other contaminants that might decrease the quality of the sperm. The second fraction is the sperm-rich fraction and contains the live sperm and is by far the largest fraction in terms of volume. The final fraction is the large gel plug that during natural service would act as a cervical barrier to prevent contaminants from entering the uterus as well as to prevent semen backflow out of the sow. From start to finish, ejaculation usually lasts about 5 to 7 minutes, although again, there will be large inherent variation between individual boars. The anatomy of the boar's reproductive tract is similar to other mammals, with the only notable exception being the glans penis. The glans penis is the sensitive tip of the penis, and in the boar is corkscrew shaped to match the folds of the sow's cervix. Unlike the glans penis of the bull and the stallion, which are sensitive to temperature, the boar's glans penis responds to pressure stimulation, and this will be important when we begin collecting later on. Assuming that we have a suitable collection area, and either a mounting dummy or a sow that is in heat and will stand for the boar, our actual collection equipment needs are small. What we need is a collection mug, which is an insulated thermos that keeps the semen warm until we're able to extend it, a collection bag to catch the semen, and a filter to prevent the gel plug from mixing with the sperm-rich fraction. This video shows a filter being easily added over the top of a semen collection bag and mug. Semen bags with filters already attached are also available for purchase. It's also important that we wear non-latex gloves during collection. Latex is spermicidal, and as can be seen in this graph, the percent sperm motility, which is defined as the percentage of sperm with normal movement, can be 90% or greater when wearing a non-latex glove, such as vinyl or nitrile gloves, but falls to less than 10% when collecting with a latex glove. Research has determined that semen is only acceptable for use in AI if motility is greater than 60%, and so the 10% motility of sperm from semen collected with a latex gloves makes that sample essentially useless for breeding purposes. Western breed boars typically reach puberty and begin producing sperm capable of impregnating a female at about 6-7 to seven months old, and we should begin dummy training around this time. Research has suggested that training boars at 5 months of age or less may impair lifetime sperm production. This graph shows sperm production per ejaculate of boars that were trained at 160 days of age, as shown in the red line, and boars that weren't trained until 190 days of age, as can be seen in the black line. Note how boars that were a month older at age of first collection consistently produced greater sperm numbers all the way through 2 years of age. The key word when training a boar is patience. Training may last a couple weeks or more, and it may be easy to become frustrated with the boar during this time, but it is absolutely vital to refrain from any negative actions in the collection area. Loud noises or rough handling to move the boar into a desired position will create negative impressions of collection, and this will increase the amount of time taken until training is complete, if not prevent the boar from becoming trained altogether. The training session begins by giving the boar freedom to inspect and explore the collection pen and dummy. He'll need to be completely comfortable in this environment before becoming willing to mount the dummy.
These acclimation sessions should last about 5 to 10 minutes, but maybe longer for boars that have not routinely been exposed to human presence during adolescence. After this, we can enter the pen and begin directing him into the right position to keep his focus on the dummy, or use a swing gate to temporarily keep him closer to the dummy. At the same time, we'll begin massaging the boar's back, flank, and underline to get him used to human contact, eventually moving on to direct stimulation of the penile sheath. When the boar begins to extend out of the penile sheath, we'll grab the glands penis with the grip shown in this picture to provide the pressure stimulation needed for full erection and ejaculation. It is important to not be too rough and to let go if the boar moves away quickly, and we should never try to pull the penis out of the sheath. The boar must always achieve a full erection on his own. The training session should last only about 15 to 20 minutes per day, because after this time the boar will become frustrated and begin to form bad habits. And finally, once we've collected the boar once, it's a good idea to repeat the procedure at least three days in a row to promote good habit formation. Finally, let's run through some specifics on how to collect the boar. We can collect the boar after mounting the dummy, or as was previously mentioned, after mounting a sow that is standing in good heat. Collecting off a sow will likely be the more convenient option for the small scale producer with infrequent collection needs, but this does require us to have females in heat, and it might limit our ability to keep the boar on a regular collection schedule. The basics of collecting off a dummy or off a sow are essentially the same. The most important thing is the grip. As we've mentioned before, the boar responds to pressure stimulation, and so our grip will need to be firm for the boar to ejaculate. We'll catch the glands penis once it extends out of the sheath. If gripping correctly, your fingers will closely mimic the folds of the sow's cervix and will provide the pressure stimulation needed to bring the boar to ejaculation. This will be trickier when collecting off the sow because we'll need to grab the penis before the boar has a chance to enter the sow. Once we have the glands penis gripped correctly, we need to continue to apply the pressure needed for the boar to achieve a full erection and begin ejaculation. Our job now is to maintain this grip and give the boar freedom of movement to do the rest. Remember to not collect the colorless pre-sperm fraction and to wait for the semen to change appearance to the more characteristic white sperm rich fraction before beginning collection. As you can also see in this video, producers collecting a boar after mounting a sow must be prepared to move with the pigs as the sow shifts position. If you can, have the sow face into a corner or have someone else hold a sorting board to block her position and help keep her in one spot throughout collection. A good boar kept on a regular collection schedule can be a positive asset to any breeding swine farm, and dummy training and collecting can be done easily so long as we always remember to be patient and to keep the right grip throughout collection.